You often hear that house debt is good debt. There is no such thing as good debt, guys. All debt is bad. Don't listen to these people telling you that stuff. If you haven't seen the last video, I did a full tour of my 20 acre property here down south in Georgia. But a lot of you guys asked me, said, Psycho Cruiser, how in the heck did you pay cash for your country property? And then other people said, Psycho Cruiser, why did you pay cash for your country property? Why didn't you take advantage of a low interest mortgage and then put the rest of the money in mutual funds and stocks and make at least 12 to 15 percent interest on your money? You'd have been better off or take that money and get a bunch of different properties that you can rent out that are mortgaged. Then eventually you have a ton more money and you can get richer. Well, I'm going to tell you why I did what I did and how you too can buy a property like this in cash. Stay tuned. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. Hey guys, whatever you do, make sure you're wearing the gear to stay safe out there on the streets. And I have some awesome gear if you want to get it. I have links to everything like this armored hoodie, which is awesome. My ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an automatic tent shield, my motor vlog camera, airbag vest, all my gear. I include links in the description and comment section of this video. First off, I want to tell you guys, I live the 100% debt free lifestyle. Uh, all the motorcycles that I bought in the past, any cars that I buy, houses, anything, all paid 100% cash. I don't owe any debt, but I will tell you this, guys, is that I did live the debt lifestyle like a lot of you guys did back in the day. I was actually at one point $200,000 in debt way back in the early 2000s. I had a, a home in Colorado Springs that I had mortgaged. Um, I actually almost got foreclosed on that property because I lost my job and I went back to Ohio and just left that house there to to uh, get foreclosed on. But then something popped in my head and I said, dude, I can't let that happen. And I scrounged the money up, went back there, um, made everything current, took over the property, uh, uh, fixed it up, rented it out for a couple of years. And then I sold it, made a really nice profit, paid off all the debt on the house. And my credit cards, I was at $80,000 in credit card debt at that time. But I paid everything off 100%. And I said, you know what? I don't want to live that way anymore. I don't want to worry about losing my job and not being able to pay a mortgage or paying those credit card payments. I, I said, I don't want to live that way no more. And I made a pact with myself. And I said, you know what? Going forward since 2006, I said that if I can't pay for something in full 100%, then I can't afford it, including a house. And I live that way ever since, and I have not been in debt since, and hope to never be in debt as long as I can help it. Um, how did I do it? It's very simple, guys. I live. I'm not. By the way, and I never made a lot of money. I've never been rich. I've always been middle class. How did I do it? Is I lived well below my means. I paid everything 100% in full. Didn't carry any debt, and I lived very, very cheap. Uh, look at this guys. Look at these shoes I have here. I don't have Jordans. I got Skechers here. Look at this. The seams are coming out here. Look at that. <laughs> I will wear these until they get holes on the bottom until literally my feet are coming out. Okay. I, I, I buy clothes at TJ Maxx for cheap and I keep, but I buy good clothes there like Ralph Lauren stuff. Uh, for cheap and then I keep it for like 10 years until it like fades out and it gets holes in it and stuff You know, I look decent But I you know, I, I don't need to go out and buy a whole spend a ton of money for top weight rate retail stuff The point is is that I keep my overhead low That's the difference between wealthy people and poor people is that poor people waste their money on like TVs cars and stuff that loses value quickly wealthy people they're not wasting their money on that. They're always looking for investment opportunities where they can get a return on their money. And also, I didn't have a family. You know, uh, I didn't get married. I've seen so many friends lose lose most of their stuff that they've gained in life is because of getting divorced. And having a family is very expensive. You know, keeping up with youngins and putting them through college and everything. So if if you wait and gain your wealth first... And then have a family, that's the best, the easiest way to do it. But even if you have a family, you can follow these steps that I tell you in this video that'll set you up to be 100% debt-free and be able to buy properties like this in cash. 
Um, but like I said, I did it a very slow and simple way. I lived well below my means, saved, invested in mutual funds, index funds, where you're gaining an average of 12% back, and then saved just for over the long haul. And I worked hard, worked a bunch of different sources of income, and saved over a number of years. I've been saving since 2006, and that's how I was able to buy this property in cash. And by the way, I wouldn't have been able to buy this property in cash if I had not paid in cash because in this real estate market that we're in right now that's crazy, everybody in a mama wants to live out in the country and everybody's bidding these properties up crazy. Um, I was the second lowest bid on this property and I literally put in a bid within five minutes of it being listed on Zillow. And my bid was selected, even though it was the second lowest, but because it was an all-cash offer. If it was a mortgage, I wouldn't have this property, guys. Um, and I only paid just a little over $3,000 over list price, as where all the other properties I had bid on, I had bid as much as thirty five, forty thousand 40000 over list, which is crazy. <laughs> so I'm so glad. This is actually one of the cheapest properties that I've bid on, believe it or not. This 20-acre property, and this is the best one out of all of them that I've had. It's amazing. But now some of you guys are saying, Psycho Cruiser, why didn't you take the money that you paid 100% cash on this property and put it into a string of properties or put uh, get a low-interest mortgage rate on the property and then... Um, put the rest in mutual funds and stocks and stuff like that and get about 12-15% interest back. You'd be better off, man. No. There's one simple fact that's problem with that, guys, is that you don't own the property. You don't own the house. The bank does. And what problems can come with that is the bank can make your loan due immediately. Because it's written in the terms of your mortgage agreement that you didn't read. That little fine print in there that said, hey, if another bank buys them out and that bank doesn't want to take on the debt, they can make your loan due immediately. And yes, that does happen and happens more often than you think. And I saw a story on TV that I'll never forget. There was a 90-year-old woman and her son in Medina, Ohio, who had paid faithfully for 15 years, never missed a payment, never late. But you know what? They got a letter of foreclosure in the mail that said their property's being foreclosed on. And you come up with the money immediately or they're taking over the property. Either that or you had to get it refinanced. They couldn't get it refinanced quickly enough. They couldn't come up, obviously, with the hundreds of thousands that were owed on that property. And guess what? The bank put them out. Put them out on the street, cold. Somebody even felt sorry for her and her son, and they set them up in an old RV on somebody's land until they can get back on their feet. It's crazy, man. Um, also, say you get hurt in an accident or something, you get laid up in the hospital, you don't have a family member that can make those mortgage payments for you while you're gone, boom, your house goes into foreclosure. As where if you owned it outright, all you got to pay is property taxes. Like this property is like less like $2,000 a year, believe it or not. It's dirt cheap here in Georgia for you know, property taxes and you pay it for the whole year so you're set up you know as where with a mortgage you're paying a mortgage payment mortgage probably mortgage insurance if you didn't put enough down payment down and and you're paying property taxes so it's a whole lot cheaper and easier living when you have a property that's paid off I have two homes that are paid off one in Ohio and this one this 20 acre property here and the total of my expenses for both properties is less than $1,000. That's cheaper than a one-bedroom apartment in most places. And if you lose your source of income with your house paid off, you can literally go work at McDonald's and you can live comfortably because the overhead is really cheap when your property's paid off, just paying property taxes. You know, I know some of you guys say, Psycho Cruz, you could take the money that you're going to pay for this house and you can actually put it into a string of properties that are mortgaged and... Eventually, you'll make a, to a ton. You got this extra income coming in, and then eventually in the future, you can sell all the properties and take the equity out, and you make a whole lot of money. But you know what, guys? That's dangerous when you play with debt. Because like Dave Ramsey, I don't know if you guys follow Dave Ramsey, which I just learned about him not too long ago from you guys. Um, I, I wasn't, you know, I, I didn't realize I was following his system without even having heard of his debt-free living system. But in one time 
he had bought a string of properties on no down payment and he was worth a million on paper. But those banks called those loans due immediately and he couldn't sell those houses fast enough and he lost all of it. So that's what can happen to you guys when you get in that situation. I'm telling you, if you want to build true wealth, build it 100% debt free. Like I said, live well below your means. Don't waste your money on crap. And keep your overhead low. Save and invest. <laughs> and that's one reason why I created that bug out moto van that you see that, uh, that I can live in without with my motorcycle and travel across the country. Is because I could just go in there and live out of parking lots if I had to, if things got really bad. That's why I built that van, guys. And... You could build a van like that and live out of it for cheap, live really cheap, save a ton of money, invest, and then you'll be able to afford to buy that home that you want in cash. And you don't have to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars for a house either, man. I'll tell you, I gave you an example in a previous video in the past of where I was going to buy this house at a cash-only auction in Berea, Ohio, which is an excellent city there um, that has excellent schools very nice house there. It went into foreclosure at a, uh, and it was at a cash only auction for $50,000. I was going to buy it, but I, I didn't have the time to fix it up or anything. It didn't, wasn't really that messed up, but I was taking care of my grandmother at the time. And I wish I would have bought it. Honestly, I wish I would just bought it and flipped it to another investor because that guy sold it for like over 200,000 and he probably put no more than 20, $30,000 into it. But you could buy a house just like that you could a great house at a cash only auction that needs a little bit of fixing up and all you got to do is every weekend put a little money into it fix it up yourself and next thing you know you got a ton of equity in a house and you could even flip that house make that ton of profit and then buy that really really nice house that you really wanted uh, or whatever i'm telling you if you want to be a true boss and you want to build true wealth do it 100 percent debt free but a lot of people can't do it because they don't want to be patient you know, they want everything now. Yes, you can get rich off of buying properties with mortgages. I've known people that do it, but it's it's a big risk. You often hear that house debt is good debt. There is no such thing as good debt, guys. All debt is bad. Don't listen to these people telling you that stuff. By the way, I don't use actual cash. Um, I actually use credit cards for my purchases but i pay the bill off every month and i make five percent cash back so i actually make money off of credit cards that actually pays for my cell phone and internet service believe it or not <laughs> there's a guy that on dave ramsey's show i saw where he he made no more than thirty five thousand a year and he saved one he became uh he saved up 1.8 million dollars man and he retired 1.8 million dollars he never made more than what 35,000 or something like that a year so you don't have to make a ton of money i know a lot of people that are making over a hundred thousand dollars a year and they live check to check why because they waste their money they go eat out all the time fancy clothes fancy cars just wasting their money on stuff that returns no value and then they they rack up that snowball of debt that consumes them well, I hope this video helps you guys out, helps you guys get motivated to change your way of life. Um, but some of you guys will be hard-headed because you're programmed to get into debt. And that's what, you know, the banks want. They want you to get in debt. That's what keeps them in business. And I appreciate you people that are in debt um, because you're keeping the banks in business. Because we need a safe place to store our money. And that keeps them in business with you debt people that are making them mortgage payments and credit card payments and... <laughs> continue to live in that debt lifestyle if you want to but if you want to sleep soundly at night not have the anxiety have a low overhead and uh enjoy life better then you do like psycho cruiser did does live in the debt-free lifestyle but anyways guys i hope this helps you out you know do what you want to do whatever makes you happy guys you don't have to do what i do um if, if you're doing what keep doing what you're doing, if that's making you happy and uh, hey, that's it's your life, whatever. I appreciate all you guys. Um, I got a bunch of motor vlogs and videos coming up. Stay tuned. Make sure to leave a comment below. Like, share, subscribe. I appreciate all you guys. Make sure to check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. So until next time, catch you guys later. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. 
Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.